Hello and welcome to my channel, Homemade Mathematics. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to solve an equation where you have x on both sides of the equal sign. So to start, if you haven't heard of what like terms are before, I do suggest you go watch my video on how to simplify algebraic expressions. And there um, I talk about what like terms are and how we combine like terms, which is kind of the same thing we're going to be doing in equations. Because as you can see here, I have 5x plus 2. Um, and since those are not like terms, I cannot combine them, right? 5x and 2 are separate terms. Um, they don't share the same variable to the same exponent. So that means here I have four separate terms, right? I can't combine that 5x and 2. I can't combine that 3x and 16. Um, I can only combine like terms, which would be like 5x and 3x and 2 and 16. So what I'm going to need to do is move things from one side of the equation to the other. All right, so if I'm moving something, I'm not multiplying it or dividing by it, right? I'm subtracting it off. I'm getting rid of it. I'm moving it to the other side. I want all my x's on one side and then my constants on the other. So to do that, I want to get rid of 3x on the right and I'm going to move it over to the left. And what I mean by that is when I subtract 3x here, remember to keep an equation balanced, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equation. So here is my equal sign, which means I need to subtract 3x over here. Remember that 3x can't go with the 2 because they're not like terms, so 5x minus 3x. be left with 2x and then I still have that plus 2 there equals 3x minus 3x. I would just be 0. Those would cancel out. And I'm just left with that 16 on the right side. All right, so now I have all my x's on the left side, but I still have that plus 2 with it. So I'm going to want to get rid of that. And how do I get rid of plus 2? We subtract 2. If you have not watched my videos on how to solve one-step and two-step equations, those are essential skills you would need to do this. All right, so those are going to cancel, which is what we wanted, because now we just have x's left on the left-hand side, 16 minus 2. Remember, do it to both sides. We're going to get 14. And remember, we're trying to solve for x. So now it's just a one-step equation. How do I get rid of 2 times x? We divide. Because 2 divided by 2 would get us 1 or 1x one or just x. And then we did it to the left side, so we have to do it to the right side. 14 divided by 2 would get us 7. Just like one-step and two-step equations, you can check your answers to guarantee you get every single one of these right. You're just going to have to plug your x in to multiple spots. All right, so we're going to rewrite the equation. So 5. But then instead of x, we're going to replace it with 7 because that's what we think it is. All right, so 5 instead of x, 7. Instead of x, 7. And we're going to go ahead and solve this out. So 5 times 7 is 35. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 16, 37, 37, it does work out. So we know x equals 7 is the correct answer, All right? 2 looks slightly different. This time I have my 10x over 3. So before I can do anything, I need to get rid of that so I don't have a fraction in there anymore. So to get rid of divide by 3, we're going to have to multiply by 3. All right, remember, always do it to both sides. Those 3s cancel. That's why we did that, so that we just have 10x equals. And then when we multiply this other side by 3, we need to make sure we do it to both things. So 3x times 3, 9x, and then negative 4 times 3, negative 12. And then just like the last one, I'm going to move my x's over so that x's are on one side and numbers are on the other. So I have 10x over there. I'm going to get that 9x over there by getting rid of it on the right side. So if I have a positive 9x, we want to subtract it off both sides. 
So we'd have 1x or just x. And then we're left with negative 12. All right, so we are saying x equals negative 12. Let's go ahead and check that. All right, and we saw both sides, we got negative 40. So we know x does equal negative 12, it works. All right, this time with number three, we have four minus two x. So instead of subtracting our x's to the other side, you could also add your x's to the other side. So we have four minus two x. How do we get rid of minus an, or a negative two x? We're going to add two x. Do it to both sides. A negative 2x and a positive 2x would just get us 0. Those would cancel, and we're just left with that 4. And then remember, we can only combine like terms here. We cannot combine that with that minus 26. So we have 9x minus 26. And then we want our x's on one side and numbers on the other. So to get my x's by themselves, we'd want to get rid of minus 26 by adding 26 so that I get 30 equals 9x. And then this is just a one-step equation. You're gonna solve for x by dividing by nine, because nine divided by nine would get you one x, or just x. And so we would get our answer of 30 ninths. So you could leave that as an improper fraction. Um, again, plug in and check. This, they should both be equal. Um, and you could also turn it into a mixed number if you prefer that. Then equals three and a third. Or 3.3 .3 repeating. All of those things mean the same thing in this equation. Right? X is 3.3 .3 repeating, three and one third, 30 ninths, all the same thing. And then our last one here um, is going to be a multi-step, and we have x on both sides. And what I mean by multi-step is that we are going to have to distribute first, um, which I will be having a video dedicated to that coming up next. So please subscribe if you are interested in seeing that. Um, and comment down below what you would like to see after that video. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and distribute our negative 3 onto 1 would be negative 3. Negative 3 times 6 would be negative 18. And then there's the x. And then now it looks just like the problems we were doing before. All right. You can decide to move this minus x to the left side or to move this minus 18x to the right side. But then whatever you do, whatever side you choose, you do the opposite for your constants. Um, so it doesn't matter, you could do this either way. I'm gonna just move that minus x by adding an x. Right, because a negative x and an x would just cancel and I'd be left with 14. Okay, this kind of gets tricky here when I'm combining these. So negative 18x plus an x, and so that's plus a positive 1x, which would get us a negative 17x. And then don't forget, there's that negative 3 out in front as well, our constant, which we're going to need to then move. So how do we get rid of negative 3? We would add 3, right? Negative 3 plus 3 would just get us 0 minus 17x, which is just the same as negative 17x. Both sides of the equal sign. All right, last step, we're going to divide by the number in front of x, which is negative 17. Those will cancel so that we have x equals anything divided by itself is 1, and a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So x equals negative 1. So you could go ahead and plug that in up there really quick to check that and make sure both sides are equal to guarantee you got it right. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.